Well, it is November. Typically, we're talking about activity waning across the tropical Atlantic, but not tonight. Things are getting a bit more interesting now in the Caribbean. So here's the area to watch south of Jamaica, east of Nicaragua, and that is an area that the Hurricane Center is now given a high chance of development. So right now we have a very broad area of rotation, but we do anticipate that some area and some location within this larger area, we will likely have an area of low pressure consolidate a stronger area, more concentrated area of low pressure, and that is expected to happen over the next 48 hours. So in that red shaded area, now a high chance of tropical development the tropical depression is expected to form now in the next 48 hours and then move north and northwest through the Western Caribbean. Now, in terms of where this thing is going long term, well, we've got our first collection of computer models on this system and there is some agreement here, but before we show you this, just know that there will be changes. The system has yet to fully come together and form yet, but once that happens, we will start to see, the, until that happens, we'll see continuous shifts east west in these forecast models but this is the first collection most of them showing that a system will develop and move north towards jamaica and then take aim on central or western cuba now in terms of the timing of this this would be through the first half of next week and then starting wednesday this emerges into the eastern or central gulf of mexico and you notice how the lines kind of get to a point they sort of stop and then they start to spread out that denotes there are some factors at this that are not yet known regarding uh, what's going to steer this system and once it gets to this direction you see some models go as far east as the west coast of florida others go much farther west and take this in the general direction of louisiana some do curve it towards the mississippi alabama gulf coast in northwest florida so what do we expect to form here well a lot of our models suggest this will be a tropical storm. You can see the water temperatures in the Caribbean are still running in the mid 80s, still plenty of warmth there, but things are really starting to cool off across the Gulf of Mexico. We have water temperatures in the upper 70s and low 80s. You really want that 80 degree threshold, so the conditions aren't quite as conducive in the Gulf, and that's why we anticipate that anything that gets into this area we're not talking about a Helene or a Milton. We're not talking about major hurricanes. Most models suggest a tropical storm, perhaps borderline category one hurricane. So that's what we're talking about initially when this enters the Gulf. Now, where it heads and where it goes, that's the big question mark. And let's show you the big factor. Here's the upper level pattern. We've got that system developing there. I want you to note this orange area here over Florida northern Bahamas. That is a strong ridge of high pressure. In the meantime, we've also got a deepening trough across the western U.S. And so as this starts to move forward, you'll notice the tropical system becomes better organized. There's the high moving off to the east. This particular model shows a strong jet stream ridge there, which could provide an avenue for this to move through the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Now, hurricane hunters will fly into this area in the Caribbean tomorrow, and I'm assuming that we're going to get some flights, some upper level flights to kind of sample the upper level environment out ahead of this system sometime in the next uh, couple of days. So that's where we stand now with this. Um, so the key takeaways that you should be knowing about tonight and what you need to know regarding this Caribbean disturbance, which we're calling Invest 97L, development is now likely. I would say a tropical storm is starting to become more likely. The next name on the list is Raphael. A track towards the Gulf is also becoming a bit more likely tonight. Again, the timing of that, we're thinking if this gets into the Gulf, it would happen sometime maybe Wednesday of next week. How strong? Most likely a tropical storm. Category one hurricane cannot be ruled out here with this. And any concerns for our part of the Gulf Coast? I think it's something we need to watch for sure. Um, in terms of the exact impact to this point, just can't sit, tell you that with any certainty. At the very least, I would expect some moisture to come in by the end of next week. So next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, increased moisture, which means higher rain chances, which truth be told, we could all use. I'm not going to say no to rain at this point, considering the drought situation. Uh, but any impacts beyond that, that and rip currents, just can't say for sure at this point. So just stay wary of this system. Stay updated as we move you into next week. We'll bring you updates from the Hurricane Center as this starts to develop. But yes, you can get tropical systems 
in the month of November. Again, hurricane season ends November 30th. So we'll be tracking what will likely be a tropical depression and possibly the next named storm of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season.